All right, welcome everyone to the Minty SIG Live 2020 um, conference. So we do have a conference website. You can go to mintysig.net, that's M-N-T-E-S-I-G.net. Uh, click on the conference website and then you'll have links to all the other stuff. So everybody who submitted a PowerPoint or a presentation up to now will already have their um, presentations posted on the site. So if you miss something or you wanna uh, have a copy of one of the, or two of the presentations, you feel free to download them um, for your own use or reference in the future. So I'm glad you could all make it. Um, Bob and Kate and Kate and myself and um, Jared worked really hard putting this together. So if anything goes wrong, it's Bob's fault. And if it goes right, it's Kate's fault. And I'll let you decide which Kate I'm talking about. All right. So these have been exciting times for us. Um, Bob and I met at a, um, at a conference called Comms in 2010. And we were having some beers, watching the balloon glow. And I was thinking, you know, we should get a group of folks together um, and do a micro nanotech education conference. And Bob thought I was crazy because he already had enough to do. Um, but, uh, you know, we convinced each other that we're both crazy. So we ventured forth and started this uh, MNT conference every year. And Deb Newberry joined us uh, early on as well, and then a few of the other centers. So it became an annual event for a while. Um, and then in the last couple of years, we decided to form the Minty SIG group. That's the Micro Nanotech Education Special Interest Group, in case you were wondering what that meant. And we would love to have you join this group. So there's a link on the website to join the group and it'll add you to our constant contact list, which is separate from the conference list. Um, and then you can get invites to our meetings and our subgroup meetings and whatnot. So we encourage you to contribute and share your experiences in micro nanotech education and also um, take as much as you can from us. We have a lot of stuff, uh, more than we can all read in a year, um, has been produced over the last couple of decades. So here's a, a set of pictures of the folks that are co-hosting this um, wonderful conference. There's myself. That's actual, that's a real background there from Puerto Penasco. There's Bob, that's his uh, uh, high school graduation picture there. And then we have Jared, um, he's our premier golfer. Bob's the number two golfer. Um, then we have Kate Kramer from Ivy Tech. Uh, unfortunately, she's under the weather right now and can't really talk. So um, hopefully tomorrow she can say hello. Um, and then we have Kate uh, Alcott from Nia Tech, who's been a, a godsend in organizing, and she'll be our policeman to make sure that you stay within your five minute time limit on your presentations. And of course, Renee, she's going to organize us and make sure we stay on track and, and throw everybody into the subgroups and sub team um, breakouts later on. So the key elements of the next two days is um, that we'll be kicking off the first presentation with Jared Ashcroft from um, Pasadena City College. And he's gonna talk about um, the NSF ATE National Center along with uh, a couple of his buddies. I believe Billy and um, Peter are gonna be joining him if I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. Uh, then we'll have a couple of lightning rounds over the next two days. So those are intended to give you a short introduction of what some other people are doing in the Minty SIG community and where you can get additional resources for your classes. On day two, that's tomorrow, we're going to have two really good keynote presentations. We're going to kick off with Jessica Gomez. She's the CEO of um, a small micro device company in Southern Oregon, uh, very active and she cares a lot about education. And we'll also have Mike Russo from SEMI um, who will be talking about uh, what SEMI is doing now with technician education and, and how to get involved with that. 
Uh, we're going to have sub-team breakout sessions today, and then tomorrow there'll be um, report outs by the sub-teams. So uh, Bob will tell you a little more about that in a couple minutes. Uh, again, go see the conference website, okay, to get details. And at the end of the, the meetings today, we're, our Motley crew will stay online for a while and we'll have a networking happy hour. So you can grab a beer or your drink of choice or snack, whatever you want, and join us and we can have a more informal discussion. You can ask other people questions and, and that sort of thing and get more involved. All right, Bob, I'll hand it off to you. Thanks, Matt. Um, so as Matt previously mentioned, uh, at approximately 2.30 today, we're gonna try to stick right on the schedule if we can. And if we're a little early, that's fine. We're gonna be breaking out uh, into our sub teams. And this is kind of where we expect the work, the, it's, the work has been being done and we expect the work to be done. So we're an action group. Uh, our mission is, you know, fought, we came up with this mission, I don't know, about a year and a half or two years ago, foster collaboration between educators uh, at all levels, industry and agencies for relentless improvement of the micro nanotechnology workforce. And that's what we really want to do. But the only way we can make that happen is if people all contribute to it. We want to work together, but it's a large group here. We've got 70 people here or whatever now. You can't do it in this, these things. We want to break down into smaller sub teams. And it's not just for today, it's to continue on throughout the year. We started meeting and we were meeting once a year, several years ago and making some progress, but it was not as, as, as fast as we would like it to be and, and making the impact that we'd like to make. So in order to do this, we believe that many hands make light work. So we'd like to break, we'd, we'd like everybody to select at least one subgroup today to be a part of. You can be more on more than one, but we're going to ask you to select um, a breakout group to be a part of today and hopefully get your voice in the room and volunteer to do things and meet throughout the year, next year to be able to kind of, as I said, make forward progress to uh, that relentless improvement that, that is our goal. Um, so you can do that by actually uh, selecting in the chat window uh, at any time, and Renee will actually be setting these breakout rooms for the for the two thirty time frame. Uh, and uh, so we'll be you'll have a t opportunity to to make a selection now. Uh, but right before the breakouts, where each of the leaders of the uh, sub teams are going to be giving like five minute present five or six minutes, I can't remember, presentations to kind of talk about where they are now and where they're going. Um, you may be able to just select on the title right now, or you, when you see that, you say, oh, I'd rather move over from industry to professional development or whatever. You can do that at that time, and we'll put you in those group. Um, and if if you don't select uh, and you make no, no selection at all, then Renee uh, will actually just make a selection for you and a random selection for you and even things out, okay? And if you wanna come back to the main room, you can do that and say, I don't wanna be here, I'd rather go over to here, that's fine too, okay? So if you go to the next slide, Matt. So the sub teams, uh, just for your information, are industry uh, and uh, I believe uh, Jim, I believe uh, Kate Alcott is going to be talking about that one. I'm, I'm actually not going to do this because I don't have it in front of me and I'm not going to make it wrong, but curriculum team, uh, then there will be a distance learning team, an outreach team, and a professional development team. So uh, think about those. Uh, think about where you kind of, you'd like to make some impact and, um, and then we'll be breaking out this afternoon and then tomorrow uh, the, uh, someone on those teams will be reporting. And we'd like to see some new faces in, in those report outs. That would be great if we get some new faces out there reporting out about how things are going. I know we have a lot of talent in this room and we'd like to, to get some of that talent out there to, uh, to help the, that MNT, um, workforce. So I'm going to pass it off now, uh, to Kate Alcott and, uh, she's going to talk about some participant expe expectations for, uh, for this and for breakout sessions and so on. Okay. Go ahead, Kate. Kate. Okay, so thank you, Bob. Um, just some housekeeping. Um, we wanna keep this on track today with you know minimal disruptions. So um, please mute your mics when you're not speaking. Um, participate, we, you know, we just said silence. <laughs> we want to participate. And you can do that by typing in the chat box. 
um, and participate in the breakout sessions too. As Bob just indicated, this is going to be a really nice and formal way for you to figure out how you can get involved um, in the area that interests you the most. Um, we're also, I think Matt has been sending out information about an asset book uh, that we're, um, has been developed for the MNTE SIG group. I know we have some new people on today's um, video and we want to add you. Um, that asset book is great for networking. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful um, reference. So we'd like to put you um, your name and, and where you're located and um, you know, your contact information in this book. So um, you know, let us know. We'd, um, let me know and I'll be happy to put you in. Hey, Kate, um, I was just going to say in there, too, we also have the bios of people, short bios, so you can get an idea who's, who's, the, who's who. Right, exactly. So when you're working on a project and need help in X, you can look at that bio and say, oh, uh, she has some experience in that. Yeah. Um, we do have your, list, your registration list today, and we'd like to add that and add them to the uh, asset book. If you don't want to you know, go ahead and pull on the bio, um, if you have any trouble with us adding your internet, then um, um, please let me know. I don't hear from you. We're just going to have that list for folks to see. Um, and at the end, of course, survey, survey, survey. When you're grant funded, you all know that. Um, so we're going to have one of those. And please fill it out. Our evaluator would love you. <laughs> OK, next slide, please. Okay, so lightning round presenters. Um, these are timed presentations, which you all knew, right? Five minutes, and I'm gonna time you. And so while you're presenting, if I see on my timer that you're starting to head over, I'm gonna jump in and, and you know, very kindly <laughs> interrupt you. Um, you're not going to lose your momentum because folks can see your presentation. We're going to post those um, on the website. And of course, if anybody is interested in following up with you, they can. Um, so I, I, I will be kind, I promise, but five minutes is, is the limit. Um, we're going to ask you if you want to drive your own slides or if you want us to advance your slides. Um, so that's, that's up to you, whatever's easiest. And um, like I said, we're going to post all these presentations on Matt's fabulous website that he keeps um, for us. And so they're there. Uh, and, and reference them. Okay. Again, let's, I don't want those posted. You know, if there's something in there that you'd rather not have shared to the world, um, just let us know. So uh, the main thing here is you want to enjoy and network, share, and collaborate. That's what we're all about. And again, our mission is to foster collaboration between educators at all levels, industry, and agency for relentless improvement of the micro and nanotechnology workforce. So it's all about the students, right? All right. So I'm going to end um, sharing. And we'll move on to um, Jared's presentation. So I think Jared can take over.